Hey everyone, my name is Anita. I work in the marketing department for Organics and I am an ex-restaurateur here in Montreal, Canada. I love to cook. It's my passion. Um, I cook all the time for, all the time for my friends and family. And I made a, a butter chicken recipe a few weeks ago, which was well received, and uh, particularly by my colleagues at Organics. And a lot of them requested that I do something vegetarian. And um, over and over, they wanted me to do a chana masala, which is a very basic recipe. It's from the north of India, Punjab, uh, where I'm from. So we start with um, just some dried chickpeas. You soak them overnight. I didn't, um, I forgot, so I had a friend come over last night and we were just, ended up gabbing a lot. So what I did was I soaked them this morning and then I just pressure cooked them for a little while just to make them soft. And now I'm going to boil them in some water. And I'm gonna throw a regular black tea, tea bag, Tetley tea, tea bag in there. Um, and that gives it a nice brown color. All right, so I've got my chana and my tea bag with a tea bag in it boiling on the stove. So it's just getting a bit softer and it's getting that nice brown color I was telling you about. And so I put about two tablespoons of coconut oil in a, in a pot. And this is super hot, so let's turn it down. This is a very small onion or half a big onion, um, chopped, diced. So I'm going to wait for it to get brown, as brown as possible without burning. Alright, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to put uh, about two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. So this is um, equal parts ginger and garlic and pureed in a blender. And we've got this in our home, just pureed, and it's just sitting there. We use it in a lot of stuff, not just Indian cooking. It's so healthy for you and it's delicious and it's omnipresent in every single Indian dish. Well, not every single, but you know, close enough. These are green chilies. There's about three big green chilies chopped up. The seeds are the spiciest part, so I'm throwing them in. smell is delicious. Um, this is ground cumin. The benefits of cumin, I mean, is like, they're unbelievable. So this is actually black cumin and I've roasted it and ground it up. Again, I do it all myself. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon in. This is ground coriander. So uh, not the leaves, obviously. This is the seeds that are, again, roasted up and um, ground up. I use a coffee grinder. It's equal parts, so about a teaspoon, just over a teaspoon. Show you guys how this smells. It's super delicious. Plus I'm hungry, so. I'm gonna put the, a little bit of turmeric, which is omnipresent in a lot of Indian cooking. Again, I'm going for a teaspoon or so. You'll see the color change and it gives it a beautiful, rich, brownish color. And the brown is because of the cumin and the coriander, most of the cumin. And then, as if the color wasn't enough, I'm going to put a little bit of paprika just to further deepen the color. Half a teaspoon, I would say. So in Indian food, we want to put what we call kattai, which is, uh, you know, something tangy. To me, in my opinion, in Indian food at least, the, a good Indian dish is a good balance of tang and salt. So I'm going to put some yogurt for the tang today. Sometimes we put tomatoes, sometimes we put yogurt. I'm going to do yogurt today. So all I'm going to say this is about, what did I put in there? About three tablespoons of yogurt. I'm just going to grab some water, just a little bit of water so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So 
will just let this simmer for a bit and I'll go check and see how my jenna, my chickpeas are doing. Just turn the heat way down so it can just kind of simmer. So you can see this is super nice. Um, this is called a masala and the oil has separated from you know the rest of the stuff so that's when you know it's pretty much done. Uh, I boiled the chickpeas, the, the jenna, with the tea bag you can see and it's a lovely brown color. So now I'm just going to take the tea bag out and put the jenna in here. Uh, perfect. Raise the heat a little bit and I'm going to let this simmer for a bit. I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in, not too much. So I would say, I mean, it really depends on your taste. My sister-in-law doesn't take any salt at all. I put maybe half a teaspoon. So I'm going to let this simmer for a bit. So you want the, uh, the chickpeas, the jenna, to get a little bit soft. So when you eat it, it's fun. And not hard and crunchy. I don't like it hard and crunchy. Maybe if you do, then it's ready. You can eat it. But I like, I like to let it simmer for a little bit. All right, um, that's pretty much good for me to serve my family. I think it's, uh, you know, it smells delicious. I wish I could somehow impart the smell, but I can't. What we normally eat with this is a raita, which is a, a yogurt with um, anything, really, any kind of spices. I put cucumber in it, so I'm gonna try that. So here we have it, my raita. So it's anybody's raita. I mean, anybody can make it. <laughs> Um, so this is organic Greek yogurt, I would say a cup and a half. You put as much as you want, it really doesn't matter. I whip it up nicely just so it's blended smooth. Then I'll put a bit of salt, not too much. This would be like a quarter teaspoon, if that. And pepper. Same thing, just a pinch, a couple of pinches. And uh, I've grated up a small cucumber like this. Just grated it up, mix it up. This is a bit thick, obviously, um, because it's Greek yogurt. If you want it a bit thinner, a lot of Indians will prefer it a little bit thinner or know it a little bit thinner. But um, if you want that, just put a bit of water and uh, milk and uh, almond milk and it doesn't matter. And I throw in a little bit of paprika, just a little bit for color, for garnish, just because it looks cool. So that's that, that's the raita. And if you have that with this and a bit of rice, organic brown rice, um, it's delicious. And we'll do the rice in another show. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it and you cooked it, please let me know. I would be so happy to hear what your experience was like. And um, thank you very much.